these are the post contrast images of the patient and you can just browse through these images If you have picked the findings, that's really wonderful. Otherwise, you can just continue with the non-contrast images. Now, as we start to uh, discuss this case, if I browse through the plain images, non-contrast images, you can appreciate that uh, there are mild hyperdensities seen in this region, which is the area of internal cerebral veins, which is extending all the way posteriorly up to vein of gallon and straight sinus region. If I see its extension, it is extending up to the right transverse sinus. Now, when you saw the post-contrast image, uh, th there was some issue with it that uh, these are still hyperdense on it, but this hyperdensity is basically not due to contrast filling. If I compare the hyperdensities of the internal cerebral veins and the vein of gallon and the straight sinus with the superior sagittal sinus, I appreciate that there is significant increased hyperdensity in this region here and then secondly what you appreciate is that there are diffuse hypodensities and edema in the in the thalamus and the adjoining areas which is due to the thrombosis of the internal cerebral veins and all this venous channel so sometimes only post contrast images are not sufficient and in this case uh, mr venography uh, is advised 